remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? A woman recorded a Jefferson Parish police officer planting drugs on a guy who he and some other officers had on the ground handcuffed. The cop is seen clear as day holding a package in his hand as he pretends to look on the ground for something. Then he puts the package on the ground and then he's like, oh, look, what's this? And dude's like, man, that ain't me. That ain't me. And the girl tells the cop, yeah, I saw you. I'm filming. I'm filming. And I got you on tape. And the cop raises up and charges toward her. And then the phone goes off. But well, we got it. We got it. This is further illustration that police departments all over America needs to be dismantled. Every single officer should be fired. I don't give a damn what happens after that. They need to be fired because it's too many bad apples. And I don't even want to call them apples. Let's say, what's, what's something? It's too many bad rocks. They're not even fruits. They're rocks. It's too many bad ones. And the reason why you can't stop it is because the bad police officers, they work for bad police officers. Their superiors are bad. Their superiors are rotten. This is why nothing can change. The only time a cop will get fired is, is, if, is when they're all the way to the left and maybe they do something where a case is really high profile or they did something to somebody who the community respects and protects. Other than that, they have like a less than 1% indictment ratio. We're not even talking about conviction. We're talking about indictment ratio against police officers. No matter what you say they did, uh, they just can't find probable cause to bring an indictment against them. This cop is clearly planting dope on dude. And, and listen what this does, family. They don't care that they're ruining people's lives. They don't care. They was trying to send that dude to jail for, no, for God knows how many years. Perhaps he already has priors. And that one little rock or whatever was in that bag would have been enough to get that man a 30-year sentence. And they don't give a damn. They just don't care. We're talking about wicked people, family. We're talking about evil personified. These departments all over America need to be dismantled. I damn near feel like the people would have would stand a better chance protecting their own. I mean, I know everybody thinking, well, it's going to be anarchy. Well, how did uh, America survive before you had organized police departments? Communities protected each other. The men in the community protected the communities, right? So let's just see, let's, let's just assume that they go away. Let's say they go away. Well, now you don't at least, you don't have people planting evidence, planting dope on folks and sending them to jail and harassing people. Think about how they harass people every day. Who are they harassing? Poor people, underprivileged people, people that they know that can't fight back. I'm riding up and down the street all the time. I very seldom in the neighborhood that I live in today. I very seldom see a car get pulled over. You think these cars ain't running the light? You think they're not running stop signs? You think they're not making illegal turns? They're not driving, uh, you know, crossing the the lanes, you know, driving on the uh, on the marks? You think they're not doing that type of stuff? 
You think people ain't up and down these streets riding without insurance? You think everything is legit? You think somebody ain't got some weed, some crack cocaine, some, some meth? You think somebody ain't wanted? Of course they are. But they've been told hands off, hands off. Over here, free game. That's how they rock. That's how they get down. Police departments, the city, the citizens should be kissing the ass of poor people all over America because that's who's paying for all of these positions they got in these uh, courtrooms and stuff. They, they paying the judge salary, the police salary, the clerk salary, on and on and on. Poor people are paying these salaries because that's who they target disproportionately. That's who are in the courtrooms paying these fines every day. Poor people. And this is why poor people can't get ahead because they're constantly being targeted. Of course, there's always something that's going to get out, see through, through the cracks. I got, I got out. I was able to do it. But man, just imagine, you got to be tough as hell to get out. You're not going to just get out by just waking up every day and just doing the right thing and that's it. Man, you're going to have to have some tenacity. You're going to have to go into overdrive. Like, your drive is going to have to be impeccable to beat those odds because they are targeting people every single day, leaning on folks. I have mad respect for people who make it out from the mud because I know what they've been through. Man, the Jefferson Parish Police Department has yet to respond. No more talk. What the talking about?